Hey everybody, welcome to Klaus to the Heart. I am Jason Klaus. Uh, we thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. And um, you know, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. And uh, you will get notified each and every time a new episode drops exclusively here on YouTube. Um, you can also fo follow us on Facebook. I just look for Klaus to the Heart. And uh, every so often we will drop a bonus episode or uh, something exclusive to the, the Facebook page. So we're kind of all over the place in terms of our presence on social media. Um, this week's episode is going to kind of piggyback uh, a little bit off of what we talked about uh, in Frankenmuth uh, at the live show at Fisher Hall a couple of weeks back. And, uh, you know, based on some of the posts that a lot of my friends have, have put on there, I, I, I felt like this is one of those topics that you can kind of come at from a number of different angles and um, it's one that at one point or another in our lives each and every one of us if we have any kind of goals or dreams or aspirations or things of this nature we all encounter this this one specific variable and um, for a lot of us it's a very paralyzing thing. Um, it's fear. It's fear of failure. It's fear of rejection. It's a, a fear of um, humiliation in, in some regards. And hey, I get it. I mean, I have been there more than a couple of times th throughout my life. Um, there is a lot of things that I let pass by a lot of opportunities that I let pass by because I was scared to put myself out there or to um, go balls to the wall with it and not not achieve that result that I was hoping for when I embarked on the endeavor and a lot of you are going through that right now I've I've seen the posts on uh, on social media and you know in a couple you know less than a handful of instances whatever was um, posted prompted me to actually reach out and um, you know, send send my friends messages and let them know. You know, if, if if you want to do something or you have dreams of doing something, and an opportunity has presented itself, and if you do not take that opportunity because of your fear of failure and you know just scared to make that that step, and I mean, hey, I. Uh, it, it, it was just a couple of weeks ago. I rolled the dice, man. I, I I did something that, you know, I have been wanting to do for quite some time, but had never had the guts to actually pr pursue it. And it just come, it just came to a point to where I'm just like, you know, the hell with it. If if I want this to happen, I need to make this happen. You know, some of you are being uh, are are being presented with the platform or the door of opportunity that you have been waiting for for a project or some sort of endeavor that you are passionate about and something that you have thought a lot about and if you do not pursue that you know because of you of your 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 fear of not achieving that opportunity you know it's that door is going to close and there's no telling when it will reopen for, for you um, look I understand firsthand you know how scary it can be to to do something like that especially if if it's something that is so far out of your your comfort zone or so far out of the box that you're just at the time you're just like yeah I really want to do this but I mean what the hell am I doing um, 
But here's the thing. You don't know unless you try. Uh, but, you know, a lot of times I think what we do is we psych ourselves out. And, uh, you know, even before we step up to the starting line, you know, at, but by the time we we have come up with the plan and yes, we are going to pursue this physically, you may be there mentally, probably not so much because you've already beaten yourself. You know, you have you have already stepped up to the plate with a, a preconceived notion that you're not going to do this. And if you're not going to go into it wholeheartedly and, you, and you're not going to put in 110%, how do you expect people who are in the position of um, acquiring your services or hiring you for this, that, or the other, whether it be a job or you know, some other endeavor that you want to pursue, where is their motivation to take that chance on you when they can plainly see you're not willing to take that chance on yourself? I, you know, hopefully that, that makes sense. But I mean, it's very fundamental. You need to put, you need to get in the frame of mind that that position is waiting with your name on it. You, have, you just have to go through the motions to take it, you know, whether it's it's some sort of a job or it's a, a, a role in a play that you have, have a passion for and that you have a legitimate dream that you want to pursue this and this is an avenue that you want to explore. My God, you owe it to yourself. You know, we get one shot at life here. I say it all the time. You do not want to look back a year from now, five years from now, ten years from now, and 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 you're, and you're pissed at yourself because you didn't take that that leap of faith. You didn't roll the dice on yourself, and there will always be those two horrible words: "What if? What if I did this? What if I tried that?" Because unless you try it, you will never know. It will, there will always be that what if. Could I have done it? Should I have done it? The, the first answer is, we don't know. Should you have done it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because doors of opportunity do not present themselves all the time. So when they do, you need to, you know, walk in that door and be prepared to take the room over metaphorically speaking if you you i mean if it's if it's something that you're truly passionate about it it will be something to bet on yourself for and if it doesn't happen it doesn't happen the worst thing that they could say is no okay if it goes beyond that and it's some sort of personal attack then they're clearly buttholes, and that's not something that you really need to affiliate yourself with in the first place, because there will always be something else on the horizon. You know, everything can be used as a learning experience. If you don't fail, if, you know, if you fail your first time and your second time, and you're, you know, however many times you don't, you don't achieve your goal. Each and every time you can take something away. So something on that particular instance went askew and it prevented you from making that, that next step. Because that once you learn all of your mistakes and you come at it from another angle, right time, right place, the stars are in alignment and you get your break or you get the job or you get whatever it is that you are seeking. You know, you got to be willing to work for it and you got to be willing to put yourself out there 110%. If there is 100 people in line or are vying for one position, go in there with the mindset and 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 the presentation that you are head and shoulders above everybody else 
and whatever you all are vying for, that is yours for the taking. It's mind over matter. And if you're in the right frame of mind and you're confident and you believe in yourself, use that fear as a catapult. Turn that into positive energy. It can be done. I am living proof of it. I believe in it. And I believe in you. So, don't let fear hold you back. Do not let the fear of striking out prevent you from stepping up to the plate. I believe that was a Babe Ruth quote. And I may be paraphrasing a little bit. But it holds true in, regardless of what it is, what avenue you are wanting, you know, wanting to walk down. So, um, with that being said, um, we're going to throw in a quick plug for a new project that, that's coming up um, this Friday. And uh, so with that, appreciate you tuning in this week for um, this week's episode of Cloud of the Heart. And we will see you next time.